Now, a lot can happen in a year. And one man from Middlesbrough really has made the most of 2019. Darren Dibsey McClintock lost 20 stone in weight. He notched up some memorable moments that he never thought he would achieve. A correspondent, Julia Bathroom, caught up with Darren at the end of a remarkable 12 months. Get in there. Hey, I fancy myself, you know. Eh? I've looked bigger than this. Able to buy a suit off the peg for the first time, Dibsey is looking good as he prepares for the National Fitness Awards. He's nominated for the Member Achievement Award and Mike, who's helped him lose weight, is shortlisted for Personal Trainer of the Year. Over the moon, obviously, to be put in them sort of categories with obviously the people who are around me the closest. So it's going to be amazing and I just can't wait for the night now. It's a stark difference to just over a year ago. At 40 stone, Dibsey could barely walk, but vowed to follow Mike's diet and exercise plan to the letter. One of the things he longed to be able to do was climb Rosebury Topping, and now he's here to do it with friends and family. It's like a local landmark, and I've always watched people do it and never been able to do it. I tried it once before, many years ago, but got half it up. I had a sandwich and I came back down just because I was that like, tired. Dibsey's weight loss began with a takeaway ban. I'm probably nervous, mate. By February, <laughs> ten stone down, he was able to fit behind the wheel of a car for driving lessons. By April, twelve stone down, he was fit to have the heart operation he needed to save his life. Dibs, just tell me about your mum's help through this year. Oh, it's been it's been incredible. Like just. Obviously, my mum's my mum, she's obviously going to help me, but there's been times where I've been sat at home crying and thinking I can't do it, I can't continue, but mum's been there just to say, look, son, it's, you're better than that. Who would have thought, you know, last year he was laid in a bed, he was laid in a chair. I never thought in a million years that he'd lose 20 stone. I mean, in my dark days, you know, I was thinking, well, what's my life going to be? Is it going to be looking after Darren in the long term? Am I going to be practically his carer for life, you know? Because that's how serious it was at the time, but... I mean, thanks to Mike and his team, I mean, he's, they've given me my life back and given me my son's life back. Come July, Dibsey had lost 17 stone and stepped into the ring for a charity boxing match. Here we are. He also climbed Ben Nevis. We made it. Right at the top of Nevis, baby! In September, 19 stone lighter, Dibsey ran the Great North Run, finishing in a respectable two hours, 45 minutes. It's probably been the most rewarding year as a coach that I've ever experienced. What we do isn't rocket science, you know, we're not reinventing the wheel. It's diet, eat the right amount of food, exercise, enjoy it and inspire others along the way. Then, in just under a year, he hit his target. 20 stone weight loss. Get in there! A lot to reflect on as he reaches the summit of Rosebury Topping and the end of a remarkable year. I don't even know where I would put it into words, to be honest. It's, when I started the challenge that was set, I thought there's, there's no chance I'll be able to do it. But then obviously as, as the year went on and the results started to come, I started to believe a bit more and more and more. But some of the stuff we've done is stuff that people dream of doing. I just literally I don't know how to put it into words. And what about that award? Well, he only went and won it, didn't he? It's, it's unbelievable, but it just tops off a brilliant year and I can't wait for next year now. Darren Dibsey McClintock talking to Julia Bathroom there about his amazing year. It was great to see his progress, fantastic to share his story during 2019. Happy New Year to you, Dibsey.